Hello Nintendo Wii here, welcome to a very special episode of Retro Gamer Week. This week I'll be taking a look at Star Fox Assault for the GameCube. Nintendo just had their E3 press conference digital event yesterday and they showed off their fantastic new Star Fox game, Star Fox Zero. So let's take a look at Star Fox Assault, the last proper Star Fox game. It came out 10 years ago. Okay, so this is Star Fox Assault. This is actually the third time I've recorded this now. The first time the video messed up, the second time I didn't manage to finish playing it all, so... Let's start this the same as I did for all the other videos that you'll never see on normal. Okay, so there you go, that was the introduction to Star Fox Assault. As you can see from that, it's a really cinematic kind of game. The graphics are brilliant, really, really good for the GameCube. Um, when they first showed this game off, which was a few years before it was released, I think E3 2003, it didn't look very good at all. So, Kind of like how the new Star Fox game looked last year's E3. They showed off a very small bit of it. But yeah, this game improved hugely over the two years they spent developing this further. I'll try and find an original screenshot of it. I remember back then everyone was really disappointed with it. But when it came out, uh, I think it got pretty good reception. I really enjoy it anyway, it's a fantastic action game. More like a proper Star Fox game than Star Fox Adventures was. I don't know which one I prefer, I do really like Adventures, but I do really like this as well. It's just so smooth and the, the music's fantastic. I'm not sure how well the sound will come out because for some reason it's a bit um, a bit weird. I'm not sure if that's the uh, capture card making it do that. But anyway, if you uh, watched Nintendo's digital event the other day, uh, a lot of people were really upset with Nintendo. They thought they had a terrible show, and to be honest, I kind of thought that too. There wasn't really anything new, not like last year, where they had Splatoon and uh, the first proper showing of um, X, well, Xenoblade X, uh, Zelda U. They didn't have anything like that this year. The best thing by far was, uh, for me, the trailer for Star Fox Zero, which looks awesome. I can't wait for it. If it's anything like this one. I'm going to love it, and it looks just like this, but even better. More transformations for the different vehicles. The graphics look really nice. I don't know why people are complaining about the graphics. I think they look really good. Especially that bit with the, uh, the Landmaster in the desert. It looks like something out of Shadow of the Colossus or something. Crazy. I love the fact that it's in 60 FPS. I'm not too sure about the, um, the gamepad moving the camera separately to the um, to the analog stick, that might be a bit weird. But maybe I'm just thinking that because I'm so used to playing these kind of Star Fox games, where the uh, cursor follows the ship as you move around the screen. So there might be something I need to get used to, but I'm definitely looking forward to it, it looks fantastic. 
as for the rest of the show, well, there wasn't really anything that grabbed my interest. And the same with a lot of people, from what I've heard. The new Metroid game was a huge letdown for a lot of people. Keep moving. Follow him into the uh, I'll just let you watch this. Cut just G diffuser system output. Let's go. Like, and he seems to have fled, but he may be lying in wait for us. I want all of you to proceed with caution. Worrying a bit much, aren't you, Gramps? Let's take it in low. Okay, so now we're, we've gone down onto the planet. I just love this. It's so cool for an open level. It looks gorgeous, it plays great. It is a good challenge if you play it on hard as well. Just everything about this game is just really well polished. As you'll see in the next level, um, you can actually get out of the R-Wing and run around on foot at some point as well, which mixes up the gameplay. And as you can probably see from these cutscenes, it's a lot more cinematic than some of the other Star Fox games. Even more so than Lilac Wars, which was uh, made to look like a film kind of thing. It was really good. It was actually made by Namco, not Nintendo. Kind of like how the new one's being made by Platinum instead of Nintendo. Um, as part of their Triforce collaboration, I think, so I'm not sure if there was ever planning to be an arcade version. That would be really cool, I think, if there was. I would love to play this on the arcade. It does feel like an arcade game. Well, I kind of wish the new Star Fox would be released in the arcade as well, because, uh, I don't know if you saw or not, but at E3 they had the the Star Fox game in like a giant R-Wing that you could sit in with speakers on the side. And they said the speakers actually played the sounds coming from the Wii U gamepad because it has different um, sound effects compared to what's on the TV. And they wanted people to be able to hear that. Oh, I'm just so jealous of everyone that's there. I would love to go one year maybe if I managed to get a job in the games industry, which I'm still trying to do. I didn't go to uni and college to study game design for six years for nothing. There's Crystal. Maybe she'll come back in the new one? Everyone seems to hope so. I hope so too. I do like Crystal. But I really don't know. Maybe Nintendo isn't too keen on her because she was basically a rare character before they left Nintendo. Rare actually had a pretty good show in the E3, surprisingly. Considering how Microsoft's been treating them lately. They announced the uh, Rare Classics Collection, which is 30 original Rare games in one, which sounds really exciting, but I don't have an original. I don't have an Xbox One. Anyway, now we're on to the first boss of the game Andrew Oikony. It's basically a really easy version of Andras was pretty fun and there's a nice twist to the fight halfway through which we'll see. I must bring an end to our relationship. Die! <laughs> you think you can win? Don't make me laugh. So here we go. Obviously it is a lot easier than Andros, but they would have to make it easier since it's the first level. They want people to give up straight away. All you're going to do is shoot these circles on his hands and then dodge out of the way so he doesn't slap you, basically. Dodge out of the way. Uh, I think I did. I didn't look at my health back. Now, I've got, I've got these double lasers on the front of the ship so I can get rid of everything really fast because this is like the best power you can get it up to. Almost. Is that all you've got? There we go, he's dead. 
And then they'll go a bit crazy and throw rocks into the air. Oh, after a cutscene. Yeah, he didn't last long. Now this is a new enemy for for this game. The kind of aliens called Aperoids. No, it can't be. Aperoid, 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 Aperoid. There's no time to hesitate. Return fire. So this is the second part of the boss, which is also really easy, but it looks nice. Slippy's almost dead, I'd better make sure he's okay. When I was playing this the last time, Slippy actually died in this level. So I'll try and be more careful this time and hope he manages to stay alive. So let's talk a bit more about E3 while I've got the chance. The day before E3 started, uh, Nintendo did their World Championships, which for us here in the UK was on until something crazy like 4 o'clock in the morning, but I did stay up and watch all of it and I don't regret it because it was fantastic to watch. And I really wish I could have been there in person because the atmosphere must have been incredible. They had a pretty good choice of games as well. Splatoon to start with. Splatoon's fantastic, I've been playing that a lot lately on the Wii U. Although, for some reason, some of the people there didn't seem to know what they were doing. I was getting really annoyed watching it. Like, oh, I could have I could have competed. I, I'm probably better than most of them. I really wish I could have stupid Nintendo calling it a world championship and making it America only. I'm still annoyed about that. And I hope if they do do another one in the future, it is a proper World Championships, not America Championships. Come on, Nintendo. Surely you know there's more to the world than America. But anyway, it was really fun, and I really enjoyed the fact that they had original Nintendo games to play as well as new games for the underground sections. So it was the original Legend of Zelda. It was Super Metroid, which was awesome to watch because it was the final fight against Mother Brain. And um, the last one was Balloon Fight, or the, What's that? the Balloon Trick mode of Balloon Fight. I don't anyway, that's it for the first level. Really? Well, okay. I'll show you one more stage, which is a third-person shooter kind of stage. The game kind of alternates between the two. So I think these first two levels will give you a good idea of what the game's about. And it's definitely worth there. tracking down if you can get your hands on a copy, because it's a lot of fun and it would be a great warm-up for Star Fox Zero that's coming out early next year. All ships are home. Not a bad cool. start. Good work, team. Come on up to the briefing room. Okay, here we go. Let's take on level two. Members of Star Fox, a grave danger looms. The Lilac system is in peril. What? How do you know? We know. The research director will brief you on all the details. Hello again, everybody. Dad, you're the research director? You never told me that. <laughs> well, gee, didn't I? Yes, in any case, if I may continue, these aperoids... Aperoids? Indeed, they are the enemies you faced earlier. I believe it was about uh, 17 years ago. A whole fleet was destroyed by a soul aperoid. Oh, we were somehow able to survive that trial, but that was just a taste of, of what's coming. But we are currently analyzing data from the core memory you found. But we could understand much more if we had a complete specimen. We have detected a distress signal originating from the Kaina outpost. However, we're unable to contact anyone there. We suspect Aperoid involvement. You must find the distress signal. No problem at all, sir. I'll head to the surface immediately. That signal shouldn't be too hard to find. 
By yourself? It's too dangerous. I'm going too. No, I want you guys in our wings, covering me from above. I'm counting on you. Let's do this. So as you can see from them icons in the corner on this level, I'm on foot and the rest of my teammate is in the air, so I actually have to look out for them while they're flying around to make sure they don't get killed whilst I'm trying to fight on the ground as well. It's too quiet. Something's wrong here. Something's wrong here. <gasps> it's a trap! It's the Aperoids after all. Fox, first get rid of the Okay, so as you can see, this bit basically plays out as a third person shooter. The controls can take a bit of getting used to, but considering this is the third time I've recorded this now due to all the different technical difficulties I had, um, I don't have any problem getting back into it. You gotta change weapons to fit the situation. There's loads of different weapons to pick up, loads of different uh, Box. Looks like you've ways got to more navigate the levels. The you can get into a landmaster at certain points and drive around, which is really fun. I'll be able to get in one team. So at the moment, actually, I'm supposed to be heading to these red dots in the map. You can hold down the R button all the way to charge up your shot, or if you just hold it down slightly, then uh, you do a little shot. That won't damage these bigger enemies because they've got shields. And from him, I got a rocket launcher. Use that machine gun to blast the whole level. This guy out. Here we go. This level is actually the first thing they ever no showed about this things. Star Fox game back in E3 Happy. 2002 Send me a or three. Will you? And back then it looked on awful. They did a What's lot of improvements on it. Well, I got my hands full. But what else is new? Although the graphics still aren't as good as Star Fox Here's Adventures, which is weird man. considering this came out three years later. So it seems like Star Fox Zero will well, kind of play like this, but I'm not sure it's if you'll actually be able to get out of the land master or not. Good to see bit the of gameplay they chose with something getting out of the vehicle, like a little robot that comes out of the helicopter kind of thing. Smash which looks interesting, but it a lot slower than this. From what I saw of the Nintendo Treehouse last night. The enemy oh, numbers are growing. Use the, the landmaster. So yeah, talking about Nintendo Treehouse, they've got it streaming live or or. Uh, E3, having developer interviews with the games that they announced, which is really cool. I just watched one for Yoshi's Woolly World. And I'm really looking forward to that game. I've got it all It looks really nice. I can't wait for it. The new Zelda game for 3DS, I wasn't really fussed about it. It's basically four swords, but with only three players for some reason. So, as you just saw there, Crystal's. Uh, in danger, so I'm gonna go and try and help him. No way! I can't break him! I'm gonna go! Phew! I thought I was done for! Probably after Thanks, Fox! Just, just terrible accident. There we go, so Crystal saves. Probably said he's gonna be next to get attacked because he's a bit of a boss. And then they know he's doing half the time. Of course, I do. These things just keep appearing! Don't give up! You can do this, Fox! So there we go, that's that target destroyed. One for the next one. No, I pressed the wrong button, but there is actually um, a boost you can do on this. You can press the Y button to close up the air like this, which is good to get to these enemies that are hiding from you. You can press the B button to do a boost, there you go. You can also dodge left and right, which is really useful for some boss fights in the and later on in the game, there's actually some levels where you can go from being on foot to going into a landmaster, and then in the same stage, you can also find an R-wing and fly around. So really, it is 
all three gameplay styles in one, which is really fun. And the game also has a really good multiplayer mode as well, which is something that I hope they'll bring back for Star Fox Zero. They said they're focusing on the single oh, player for now. I don't mind because I do really enjoy the single player in Star Fox games, especially this one. It's got a really cool story. Mm, this looks bad. And it just feels really epic, especially with this orchestrated music like in the background as well. So now these spawning things have popped up around the level, so you have to go and find them. I got a bit lost the first time I was uh, recording this. Because some of, are, some of them are actually hidden, not just in the walls, but actually inside the level, not on the surface like this. So you have to get out of the landmaster and go down some tunnels. Not bad. Clear the area of all enemies now. You're doing great, Box. Destroy the rest of them. It shouldn't take too long to get rid of this. What in the world is so that? So this level is really thing? basic. It looks like just a tutorial. There are more level. enemy types around now. So don't think the whole game is this simple. It does get a lot better. But this is just like a nice introduction. I did mention this in the last video, I can't remember, I can't remember if I uh, mentioned it in the last section I recorded for this, but um, I did actually attempt to do a let's play of this at uni many years ago with a friend, but unfortunately we didn't manage to get past this level because we had it set to hard and it was just impossible. So yeah, at least I'm finally uploading something about Star Fox as well. Maybe if I can find them original video clips, I'll uh, post something from it on here. This bit took me a while to find yesterday when I was recording. A lot of them hidden, hidden away in here. So there's a good example of getting out of the Landmaster and uh, doing some on-foot sections and then jumping back in again. Oops, that is not a good example of anything. Yeah, this is where I got lost yesterday. Um, not too sure where the entrance is, but you can go down inside these on foot. Check inside buildings for targets too, Fox. There has to be a way to get There's inside crystal. those buildings. Keeps you telling must me. be able to get inside using the elevators. elevators. That's not good. The signal's still there, but there's no response. I hope we make it in time. If there are survivors, they'll be the only witnesses. We've got to rescue them. Blasted bugs. Die already. Should have done that the first time. He's going to try to drop the grenade on me. There we go. Much better. And uh, I think I must have took the targets over already. The other side was one outside. So I'm going to go back to the other side. Let me out. Damn it. I think I killed him. But it just means I'm stuck down here for a second. Come on. There we go. Right I really do hope Crystal is going to start this game. So, for the rest of the E3 announcements, uh, Zelda. I already mentioned that. This was uh, Animal Crossing for the GameCube for the Wii U. I can't believe how bad that looks, to be honest. It's just like Got it. um, Mario Party, but even more basic and without mini games. I just don't see the point of it whatsoever. They should have announced a proper, a proper Animal Crossing game. 
Although I do like the look of Happy End design on the 3DS. I think that will be a lot of fun. I like the idea of being able to uh, completely customize your house and the rest of the houses in your in your uh, village. Seems very cool. Yoshi's Wally World looks very nice. Um, Skylanders, I'm not too fussed about, so I can't really uh, comment I on that. I had feeling about this. I guess it's cool they're adding Nintendo characters to it for those for those people who do collect the figures. Um, I do have Nintendo Treehouse on the iPad right now, so, so I'm kind of watching it. The leader, huh? That thing is giant. Yeah, the new Fire Emblem game looks good, but I didn't really get into the last one, so I can't get too excited about that. And the same goes for the You're Mario and Luigi slash Paper Mario up. crossover game, which was a nice surprise, but I haven't played either of those series on the 3DS recently. The last ones I played were on the game on the uh, DS. So it's been a while. Maybe I should get them first. Anyway, here's the first boss of the land sections. It's a pretty simple boss. All you have to do is hit that thing underneath it until it kills over. And then uh, go onto the top of it and repeat that a few times. That's it. That's it, Fox. That's its weak point. That's it, Fox. So there you go. You can see this Don't let it shake you off, Fox. You have to get on top of it to beat it. What a pain. Thanks, Crystal. Stay to the obvious. Now, Fox. Its weak point is on the top. I'm glad everyone's managed to stay alive this time, Fox. Check the location of the landmaster on radar. That was good. He sent it in the exact. Place where I died. Last time we sent it all the way over the other side of the level and I had to go all the way to the other side to push it back up. Here comes trouble. There was a few games that they didn't actually show at the conference, which I was quite interested in. There's Fatal Frame for the Wii U, which is actually getting a release in America for sure. I'm not sure about here in the UK. I really hope so. The one on the Wii did, so I don't really see why not. That does look really nice, and I saw the trailer for it. The graphics are brilliant. I love the idea of holding the Wii U pad up to use it as the camera as well. That's a really cool idea. Now, use the hover to get on top of it. And I do quite enjoy them, sort of horror games, even if I do get a bit lost in them. Uh, what else do they show at this? Uh, new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I'm not terribly excited for Mystery Dungeon, but I do enjoy them. So it might be cool. It's been quite a while since I've played them. Mario Tennis, what they're showing now. Don't really care too much about that, I was never too big into Fox, them. Fox, get that core memory! They are fun though, okay. they are nice. That yeah, must be it. Stuff. Careful. Anyway, we don't I'll be doing a, a, a write-up about my E3 thoughts and opinions soon, so hey, I'll put a looks like link in the comments no so you can go and read that. It's probably best mm, than me trying to talk good. while trying to play this at the same time. I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> anyway, that was the first two levels of Star Fox Assault. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week for another retro game. And it was you. That's it. Goodbye. See you soon. No, that's... Tracking Pigma on radar. Get back to the Great Fox now. All ships are home. Not a bad day's work. These aperoids, as enemies go, they're a handful.